But, that aside, we have the... Oh, Guns of Echo is having a funny one for me. Okay, we have the Daniel, Daniel Senpai, please notice. Flown by Lazy Pandas, which is a Carinade Artemis Pyramidian with left side flamer and flare to see through the clouds. We have the RBS Mars flown by... Jub Jub, which is the same RAS Mars we've always seen. Right side, Hull Watcher and Carinade. With long range side, with Lumberjack, Flak and Hades with a rear flare. We also have the Day side, which is a mixed range um, Galleon with a Hull Watcher, Flak and Gat left side. And a dual gat right side. So if you get close to that dual gat, dual carinade, sorry, right side, you are kind of boned. With a hey, with a uh, I can't get my words out today. With a harpoon rear. We also have the Lib ATK, low OC's classic galleon with short range side gat. Uh, gat. I keep saying gat. Carinade and uh, I've been doing this for too long. Carinade and manticore and long range side which is a Hades flak lumberjack both teams getting right into this fight now as we see the RS Mars and the decide exchanging fire the senpai please notice firing on the decide getting shut down by heavy hawashi fire from the live ATK and the decide the Mars switching around to the short range sides to try and bring some support but the Mars is struggling to defend the senpai the senpai getting gatted down now leaving itself open to a hefty flag shot second flag shot misses but leaves it open to another set of hawashi barrages which are gonna take it down now the Mars is stuck on its own in a very very dangerous position they need to switch to the short range side or run it seems like they're trying to get back behind this terrain they can't descend to get into cloud cover with terrain in the way they are trying to get out of this bad bad juju another set of hawacha rounds coming in not a lot of damage on the mars mostly miss and a lot of light balloon damage from the lib atk's lumberjack no no not so light balloon damage as the balloon goes down dropping the mars into a fortunate space not on top of the uh, railway bridge but just into the space behind it the, the senpai now is trying to move in behind the lib atk hopefully they can have oh no they can't stay hidden they don't they do get spotted and they will have to retreat before they get focused down with lumberjack fire as well lumberjack's already hitting senpai please notice Lots of Hades coming down. The last Lumberjack rounds missing and striking the building does manage to save their bacon. They don't get their holes out. They do lose the spot, but the Lib ATK now knows that they are there. We have the RAS Mars now coming through slightly high. They're going to get spotted coming around this uh, this apartment block. Uh, oh, potentially not. Potentially not. Potentially they'll get spot down from the Lib ATK. But then comes out the flares from the Decide and the Lib ATK. The RAS Mars is now spotted. Lumberjack rounds coming in. Dis hitting the Mars's balloons. Most missing, but enough hit to disable that balloon. Forcing the Mars down, down, down into this wide open killing field. With, not, with a long way to go before they can back up into safety. They, they, need, they can't even really back up very far if they take a lot more of these uh, <clears throat> Manticore rounds. They are, oh my goodness, the Liberty Key is just focusing down the Mars. The Mars loses hull and in comes the Flax. Flax hit balloon and not much happens. Lumberjack's coming in, still keeping that balloon down. The Mars has not got their hull up, hull up just in time to stop the Mars colliding into the ground. Sorry about that, you're inside a building. Where is the Pyramidian? The Senpai Police Notice is just sat hovering around at the minute. And I've just got to... There we go. ATK has switched their focus fire onto the Senpai, not doing a whole lot of damage as they are at a pretty good range away. Yes, we have the Lib ATK keeping Red Team at the long range, at arm's length, while the Decide just sort of potters around and waits for somebody to come in close. This is very, very, very well fought. Shots from the Mars going out on the Lib ATK, taking out their balloon. The Lib ATK is sinking, and it looks like yeah. they don't have a whole lot of room to sink. This is a very dangerous map when you don't have a balloon. Yeah, they've lost a lot of position to sink, but the Mars also loses their balloon, leaving the Lib ATK with a bit of breathing room. The Decide manages to come up and defend it, defend its ally. Artemis rounds trying to come in from the Senpai, 
but nothing's really happening. Heidi uh, from uh, Hawacha Shots going against the Daniel Senpai, and most of them miss, unfortunately, just allowing that Artemis to keep firing. But the Artemis hasn't disabled anything just yet. Lib ATK now climbing back up to get the fire back on the Senpai. Senpai is now descended behind terrain, so it cannot be hit anymore. The Mars comes back up, firing more rounds against the Lib ATK. Mars now put itself very high up in a pedestal. Maybe the Desai can get in a few rounds and do something, but the Lib ATK loses their balloon and falling, falling, falling into terrain. They managed to get their balloon up just in time to survive and get hidden again behind this smashed up building. Uh, pull out. There we go. The RAS Mars still putting down heavy firepower on the Desai, but it's not as effective as they would like because not... They aren't getting any Hades rounds down, but the Decide does lose its balloon, and they are going down on top of this building, which gives them a bit moderate hole bump. They've lost their balloon again, so they're going to grind against this building and slide off it down into the alleyway below. If the Mars can keep the firepower and keep the Decide pinned there, this is going to be very unfortunate for them. The clouds have moved away, leaving the Decide and Lib ATK without much cover. A lot of firepower coming down from the Mars, and the Decide is just completely trapped. They've been spun out the way, so they can't get out of that target, and they managed to just free themselves just as the last rounds come in from the from the uh, RAS Mars. Luckily, the side manages to survive with good amounts of lumberjack shots coming down from the Lib ATK, pushing the Mars back down beside behind cover. Very impressive from the DSI managing to get out of that situation without dying. However, they have almost no perma hole left, and it's not going to take a whole lot to knock them down and uh, kill that ship for to get the kill for the red team. Yes, indeed. I'm just going to push your speaker sounds back up because apparently I'll quiet again. There. Sorry. All no. right, the uh, Mars and the Lib ATK exchanging fire. Uh, not doing a whole lot on either side, although the Lib ATK has lost their balloon. They are high enough up, however, that they should have some time to get on the repairs before they crash into too much that will do them a lot of damage. Yes, the RES Mars has lost their balloon, and they have to now go back down into the cloud cover and get in as much clear space as they can. The Senpai, please notice, is at last pushing forward against the Lib ATK. Flare goes into Lib ATK's balloon, setting fires in hull and balloon. A lot of fire coming down now, disabling weapons on the Lib ATK, but the Decide is coming up, putting Lumberjack and... Lumberjack, Gatling, and Hawatcha Fire into the Senpai. Please notice a lot of that Hawatcha Fire has missed and has failed to disable any any Artemis Fire coming down on the Lib ATK. But the Decide needs to be careful with such little health. They cannot afford to give this away. The Mars back into the game, firing on the, on the Decide, trying to put the killing blow in. Are they going to get enough? And yes, they do. Take yes, it out by do. Hades. But now, the, this is time for the Daniel... For the Senpai, please notice to push on the Lib ATK. Push and push hard to try and get that kill before the neck before the uh, Deicide decides to respawn. Lib ATK trying to pull out of there, collides with the with the Pyramidian. Lib ATK loses their hold, taking Artemis fire, landed on top of a building to comp to compound extra hull damage. The RS Mars stays where they are, because if the Lib ATK climbs and they cannot get then they can take out that balloon quite easily. I've just got a small like spike in my game, so sorry about that on stream. But in comes the Decide, like the Valiant Hero, putting down fire on the Empire, please notice. Not a lot happens, though, as the Lib ATK is getting a hefty amount of firepower and getting ground down against this terrain. We are at nine minutes, so three quarters of the, uh, two thirds away through this game before extra time. Now it's the Decide. The Lib ATK has gone down. Yes. Now the Lib ATK has gone down, leaving the Decide on its own against these two red ships. He is going to move away and just get behind cover. And I don't think that the uh, Praetorians are going to be confident enough to chase them. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's certainly a turnaround from the whitewash we had last game. The, the Praetorians have now come out swinging, swinging as hard and hard as they can. Absolutely. Both teams uh, pulling back a little bit now, going to regroup, make sure they're uh, close enough to their allies, not wanting to go in alone on this when they're not entirely positive of where each other are. Oh, but there are spots on the Lib ATK shots going out from the Mars. Yeah, there are shots coming out from the Mars. Mars it has the arcs on the side. The side loses their balloon. Oh. 
Luckily, the side isn't going to go and collide into the railway bridge. They are going to go down by side, behind the skyscraper and get a nice bit of cover. Oop. Lib ATK now taking a lot of fire, losing their balloon as well from the fire from the Mars. The Mars itself is not suffering so much. They've had some lumberjack shots hit, but not so many to be troubling. Artemis rounds coming in from the Senpai, please notice. Not a lot is happening though against the Lib ATK. They've lost one gun, but not much else. Watch around coming down now from the side, doing very little damage against the Senpai's against the Senpai's hull with the Mars pushing forward to put Lumberjack shots down against the Decide. Now Lumberjack shots going down against the Senpai from the Lib ATK, which is good, which is very, very good. Pushes that Senpai out of arc with Lib ATK now moving behind terrain, moving trying to get some cover in the clouds, but thwarted through the flare. It's already lodged in there with them. So, a little bit of a slow sniping match now. Again, that very, very lethal fire from the RAS Mars coming down onto Lib ATK and the Decide, keeping them both bobbing up and down and as far away as possible. They aren't closing the distance and they both can't get a lot of firepower back down onto the Mars to make much of the difference. The flares as well don't help. The flares are out there keeping them with the spots or making them easier to be spotted. The Decide and the Lib ATK now are going to proceed out around the top west part of top east part of the map just to try and i don't know break lines of sight and come at the right uh, the praetorians from a different angle Whoop. looks like this is going to be a little bit of a slow spot in the match as the teams regroup reposition and try to find a more suitable uh, or a more beneficial location where they can get an advantage on one another. Yep, but we haven't got long left until we start going into overtime. I think today the both teams might decide to burn their overtime for this match. I expect, I know that the uh, Praetorians will want to burn their thing, burn their overtime for this match as they want this to be a decisive victory for them. At the minute, the riders need to push forward and get level before that happens. But that is a case of another 12 minutes. So we're effectively halfway through this final game. Well, not final game, this mid-game, should I say, of the finals. Okay, we have flares come out from the RAS Mars and the Senpai, but allowing them to be spotted by the Decide and the Lib ATK, who are also spotted in turn. Lumberjack and Hady shots coming in now. Lots of lots of Huacha shots go down the RAS Mars. The RAS Mars loses a gun and an engine, which could turn the tide here. The RAS Mars trying to pull away. RAS Mars loses their whole armor. Flak rounds miss. Not a lot of damage coming down. The Senpai putting some fire down on the Decide, but getting a Huacha in the face for its trouble. No disables from that Huacha ring, though, which is very, very good for them. The Lib ATK has the Mars in their sights. I'm going to press the Mars down on top of the rail bridge, but the Mars is going to lose break those lines of sight by going behind the terrain we have the senpai police notice go straight against the terrain and take a watch around to the face those flak rounds one connected one missed meaning that the senpai can try to get away but they're scrambling they're scrambling very hard against the terrain to try and just avoid the day side so if i does manage to survive with, with very little whole health left going up against those two galleons not not in the best position for them. They are regrouping with their ally, but it's it's hard to say how much protection they're going to be able to offer them. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. But that's the whole problem now. The Praetorians needed to have that home field advantage. They needed to have that advantage in skill and health, which they do not have anymore. They were both on an even playing field until the riders decided to do that awesome push. The Lib ATK now pushing hard against the Senpai. Is Lib ATK going for a ram and a close range firepower? It seems like they are. The Artemis rounds coming in though, disabling the Lib ATK. Her watch rounds going against the RVS Mars though, taking out its balloon and forcing it down. The Lib ATK now needs to try and survive against that heavy flame power coming down. While the uh, Decide needs to try and take out the Mars, but the Decide is low in the terrain and can't get close enough to fire. <coughs> the Lib ATK taking a lot of damage from the Senpai, but not putting very much else out. The Mars trying to come out again, being kept at arm's length by the Deicide. The Lib ATK struggling against the Daniel Senpai. This is exactly where that Pyramid needs to be against these uh, 
against these two galleons. It needs to be above and bloody close, which he's getting perfectly. But now the Daniel Skinpie gets Hawatchet right in the butt, lone, but only losing engines. But he's putting himself in range of that gap fire. If he gets gatted, it's even a carronade at this range could take him down. Like that. Sorry about the small glitch in the matrix there. But now the RS Mars and the Deicide are right on short range fire. And there goes the Mars's firepower into the side of the Decide. They have the on the Decide short range fire. Yes, they are. So the Mars is going to struggle here as they lose their close range guns. The ATK um, now. Gone. Neither, oh. neither of the ships currently in arcs of each other as one is far above the other, but the uh, Deicide coming down to pull into those arcs and try to uh, just keep the, the Mars ground into the ground, but it's not working. The Mars is rising up above the Deicide. Yeah, the Deicide loses its bullion and loses its offensive weaponry, but the Lib ATK is putting firepower down, firepower down on the Mars. The, the crew of the Mars need to be on their best because if the decide manages to get the height on them and get back into this fight they're going to struggle the decide is now going to go down bumps terrain slightly the lib atk losing their balloon getting ground down into the ground with the uh, daniel senpai coming up above the deicide stopping them from rising this could be a good comeback on behalf of the mars forcing the lib atk into the ground by blowing up their balloon and watching them to death now the deicide is gonna have to get out of there they cannot get caught by the flames and the carronade of the daniel senpai but they have the Mars needs to turn, needs to be able to stay alive before they can counter. The Senpai has been harpooned, but the harpoon breaks. The Mars manages to get its balloon back up, but its hull goes down at the same time, and now they're grinding. They're grinding down on the ground. But the Deicide's hull goes down too, with the Senpai burning its way through that hull. All the Mars needs to do is wait for that to go down and put in a good Hawatcha round into the side of that thing. But unfortunately, it's the wrong, the wrong side to put down that heavy firepower. Now, we've got the Lib ATK putting fire down on the Mars. Which is going to be a bad situation for the Mars to be in, but not a great situation for the Deicide either. Down goes the Deicide's hull. Again, the Deicide getting a heavy hammering from the Senpai. This the Senpai now has proven how a Pyramidian can defeat a very well crewed Galleon. Get up close and give him a kick in. There we ha have lost the Mars. Finally, in a very valiant struggle, he grinds down against the rail bridge and gets blasted. Is the Senpai going to go in and engage Lib ATK? I doubt it if they would. Lib ATK is going to probably try and get some fire down on the uh, Senpai. Trying to stop them from running. Only Hades rounds connecting against Hull Armor, though. No Lumberjacks to disable that balloon. Whew. That was tense. That was. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Breathe, Morty. Apparently someone wants me to breathe. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> I actually do need a drink. I'm very hoarse now. Okay, so the LAS Mars and the Senpai have grouped back together. Same has the Lib ATK and the Decide. We should see another furious and fast engagement. The only thing that the, the uh, Praetorians need to do, though, is focus down one of those ships. And it's easier said than done. They're both very tough. Very, very tough indeed. And it's nice to see such a close game after the stomping that the Praetorians had last time. And they sure as hell are bringing this game back. Bringing this game back fiercely. <laughs> okay, so the Mars has pressed forward and has been spotted by the flares that have come out from itself and the Senpai. The Lib ATK is now spotted. Is the Mars going to get the first shots off? I doubt it as the Lib ATK goes to press behind a building and manages to get a couple of Hades rounds into the Mars. No Lumberjacks fired just yet. The Lumberjacks are going to be the key to this engagement. Who can disable who will guarantee on who wins this engagement. Lib ATK now way high into the long range arcs of the Praetorians. Lib ATK needs to get down, descend behind terrain, which they are doing without any option to not with that destroyed balloon. The day side is trying to get some some uh, Hawacha rounds down onto the Pyramidian. They do succeed in getting one gun down and a little bit of hull damage. Day side drops down to try and repair their balloon, trying not to get uh, ballooned out by the Lumberjack on the Mars. 
But now the Mars comes down on the Deus side. The Liberty K needs to come up and support their buddies. The Deus side loses their balloon again. Liberty K firing on the Mars. Lumberjacks, good hits on the Mars' balloon. Good hits on the Mars' hull. The Liberty K is getting a bit of firepower, but the Mars drops down behind terrain, giving it enough time to rebuild its balloon and get a bit of cover. Yeah. <coughs> now we have the Senpai. The Senpai is getting Hawatched, uh, not Hawatched, Lumberjacked pretty thoroughly by the Lib ATK. The Lib ATK seems to have the upper hand in this. He has a good line of fire and a good set of arcs to hit both of them as they rise above the building. The Praetorians need to either move or flee from this engagement. They're not going to get it while the Lib ATK has such a superior position. Yeah, lots of shots going out in this engagement, but no actual permanent damage with all the uh, buildings here in between these two teams. Every time they get their balloon out, they manage to sink behind one of them before any permanent damage can be done. hell Yes, you are absolutely right, Wolf. You're absolutely right indeed. Now we have the day side and Liberty K trying to move around this terrain to get some better angles of fire so are the praetorians so is the daniel senpai and the ris mars they are trying to find out where the hell the riders have gone the mars pushing into the back corner of the map to get some long-range firepower get their long-range firepower down on the target but that leaves the senpai dangerously exposed out the front and we know what happened last time that happened the senpai got his face kicked right off but the Lib ATK and the Decider are staying cleverly low, but they can't not clever enough to avoid flares, because no one can avoid flares. Lumberjacks coming down from the Mars, hitting the hull of the Decider to start with, now coming down against the balloon on the Lib ATK. Lib ATK loses their balloon, and they're probably going to grind against this building <coughs> if they can't make the passageway. But they do, and the Deicide comes up behind the Mars. The Senpai, please notice, is coming down behind the Lib ATK, and the Deicide is going to try and push on the Mars, try and get close and disable that lethal lumberjack. The Lib ATK bounces against a bit of terrain, but gets their balloon back. Now the Senpai, please notice, is going in against the Deicide. This is, could be a bad position for the Decide to be in. Nice set of Hawatcha shots though come down against the Mars. The Mars' balloon is out and their offensive guns are down. But the Senpai is coming in against the Decide. Nice round to try and spin them off arc. Very, very nice indeed. But shots are coming down against the Mars. Flak rounds hitting well. Lumberjack rounds hitting well coming from the Lib ATK. But not enough to kill the Mars just yet. They know they want that Mars dead. And the Deicide is struggling here to try and stay afloat against the relentless flaming firepower of the Daniel, which is a problem, because if the if the Daniel takes down the Decide, which is sort of unlikely, they do win, so they do need to keep themselves alive. They can't be too hasty in rushing into this fight. Uh, the Deus are trying to get some repairs up so that they can maneuver up and out of that little alleyway. Uh, the Senpai is way over here. Yep, Senpai's like way out. Pulled away from each other quite a bit, trying to get some repairs before they go in and face each other once more for the last final kill of this match. Yeah, it's come all the way back. It's come all the way back. Some nice shots going down on the Mars. The, the riders know if they can counter the Mars, then they uh, can have stand uh, can have can stand a chance of winning. Then. Lib ATK trying to push forward, but the Mars manages to hide behind the buildings, the tallest buildings you can see around for a little while. Spots out. The Lib ATK and the uh, <laughs> Daniel going in against each other. Shots going down on the Lib ATK. Oh no. Not a whole lot of damage, but their hull is deteriorating. They have two guns down. Yeah, the Daniel is getting a heavy, hefty bit of fire down. Now the Mars is coming back to support the Daniel. Lumberjack rounds trying to go in against the Lib ATK, but none really hitting. None really hitting at all. The side isn't firing just yet. They're trying to come forward and low to try and get back into this fight. The, Daniel, the Senpai loses hull armor very, very briefly. And then Lib ATK loses Balloon Lib ATK, losing Hull Armor and getting hammered. One more round needs to come in to s seal their doom. Can they get it? Can they get one round in? No, they can't. Lib ATK get, just trying to get that hull back up. The Decide needs to come in and pull the, pull the weight of the Lib ATK short. Lib ATK is going to descend and clunk into this building with the Daniel. Closing range quickly. We have very few seconds left before this game becomes a draw. 
we have 20 seconds. Hopefully, I think Scrim will probably let this last engagement play out, though. I hope. Oh, and it did! Oh, 10 and seconds left! Right 10 point. seconds left! Five. Holy hell! Wow. Woof! Five seconds left to go in overtime, and the biggest flag burst I've ever seen smashes the pyramid into tiny bite side pieces, giving the riders the second victory over the Praetorians. Bloody hell! That was very nearly a draw. That was very, very nearly a draw, and just, just, if that gunner had missed that shot. Oh my god, that would have been a Picard level of face palm, but bloody hell! That was brilliant. I'm. <laughs> that sh